Welcome to Venture University. I'm Eric Lipsy, and today's lesson is on building a business savings. We're often told to save 10% of our personal income, but rarely are we ever told to save 10% of our business income, right? And often we run into situations where we need to have that capital on hand. Even if you choose to borrow money, it is great not to be in a situation where you have absolutely no money. I'll tell you a perfect example of this was Apple in 2020. It was so inspiring for me when I read the story that Apple had enough money to basically have no income for two years straight and this is without laying off any employees, they could still maintain their operations for two years. Now, I know that's extreme. I mean, Apple had over $200 billion at that time, and that's a insurmountable for most of us. But what could we be doing to start building our own savings, right? Maybe we can't do 10%. Maybe we can only do 1%. And sometimes starting out, that might even be a challenge. But I encourage you to start building cash for your business because you never know when those rainy days may come or opportunities may come your way and you'll be able to take advantage of it or you'll be able to sustain yourself should your revenue take a, a downfall for a little bit. That is the importance of building a savings account. Now, yeah, you may have to cut back on some expenses to make this happen. You may have to work a little harder to make this happen. You might even need to increase your level of income to make this happen. The key is finding ways, whether it's cutting expenses, increasing income, you need to find some way to start building a business savings account. And you may not have enough in savings to cover all expenses but having that savings keeps you from having to borrow a lot of money at any given time so start working on that start figuring out a way like i said you may not be there today you might be starting out to where you're barely um, getting by or barely able to cover your business expenses much less be able to pay yourself but the closer you can get to saving and building on that savings the more secure your business will be for the future. I'm Eric Lipsy, and this again is Venture University.